That same name was not mine. Tipi Chenna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard it for P yourself. J, no C C P J. P and what was the new surname? Oakling Chuduk. Oh my God. The Philip one is also a classic. My name is Sister P, and I'm going to welcome our guest. And this is Celia Pichu. And you are coming from? Soweto. We are in Soweto, and Inosis is going to tell us her story as you hear, and Inosis will take it away. Inosis? My marriage was not fake, it was fortunate. Okay. Nurses, you mean to tell me that as you are here, we are doing. You mean your marriage was not fake? Your marriage was fraudulent instead? Yes, yeah, this is fine. Oh, God. And you know, this is happening in South Africa also, where you get women who are fraudulently married. That is, they don't know that even their status in home affairs is changed. And mine is the typical one where a woman. A, get a man to marry her, they offer them little money that they offer them and then they are married from then on. And it seems like Gnosis is going to tell us a different one, where she was fraudulently married. Gnosis, can you tell us why? What happened? Alright. What happened is was I uh, went to home with this to go renew my, pro my passport. I was with my brother at the time. Okay. Only to find out I had a, a different surname. Okay. That surname was not mine. TP Chenna. Yeah, yeah. You heard it for yourself. J, no CCP J. And what was the new surname? Oakling Chuduk. Oh my God. The Philip one is also a classic. Yes. And then what happened at home affairs when you go? Which home affairs did you go to in the first place? Marshall Street. And you went there market, to? Ma, ma, market Street. Okay. You joined the spectrum. Go home day. Yes. And you went to uh, Market Street to do what? Yeah, who did the passport? Yeah, me. I get the passport. Okay. Okay. Take it away, Mrs. Yes. Yeah. When I was Okay. sentence. This is not me. Okay. This is not me. This is not me. I got so very angry, I can imagine. Because I was forced. For when you need to make it. And that's when I called my mother. Yes. Okay. What did you say? Oh my God. You know, if I was in your shoes, this would really upset me. How did you feel? How did you, you are going to home affairs to renew your, uh, your, 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 your passport and you are traveling and it's just imagine. Oh, now you find out that you are, you are married, you don't know it. How did you feel? How did your mother feel? How did your cousin or son feel? Angry. We were both angry. And then what did you do? And then a certain somebody was in Kelwan. Alright. Go open a case. No queue. Okay. I wanna queue a little bit. Now they see home. how angry you are. They they put the home affairs. Put yes. now you can see. They queue a They imagine the people who are also going to home affairs to do to renew their passport, do their identification, do their citizenship. Now they, they feel Gnosis' pain. They are telling her, go to the police station that is near us in Johannesburg because uh, 
the and then the nearest police station was Simon Street. Okay, I called my mother. Me and Ruzani we went to Simon's police station. Okay, my mother met me there. I do like kids. You lost identity. Hmm. Because I get to do it. The PJ. Yes. PJ. Nigga, but that PJ. I love that. I love that. And then what your time you see? Is it Casey? Go Simon Street. And then Kabuela what? Yes. Yes. I love that. I love that. When well, you at the police station, what did you find out? Did anything happen at all? Did uh, they try to help you? Higher and the same time. They told you what? Higher the same time. Even now, Rakura and Nikki Trumi. Yes. No, 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 I got a call. Barky report. For Simon's police Yes. One day, with my mother, that's when I discovered her name. We are familiar. I bought a call. Mm. What kind of car do you know? They told you Jeep yes. Cherokee. Oh Bridge. my god. And I paid a deposit. Okay. Never came. And then the very same week I bought a Mercedes Benz. White. C class. Paid a deposit. Never came back. Now, all I do is fake marriages. This is a this is a fraudulent marriage. This woman has been married without her knowledge, and now she's discovering that this person is doing identity theft, using her name to buy a lot of things through her name, and then she's discovering that she's in trouble. And now she's taking it away. What? 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 Did you buy anything else? If anything else, yes. 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 So furniture, furniture, no. dining room suit, worth of twenty thousand, a mm -hmm. K and K. Oh, okay. I bought them in Devon. Okay, in Devon. I bought these two cars in Devon and K and K in Devon. Mm -hmm. Certainly, for sure, you were not there when these things were bought. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. You didn't know anything by any chance of all these things that were bought in your name. Oh, I got married at Guamash. Okay. Then, when under investigation, I was treated like a criminal. I was a suspect. Imagine a suspect. Meanwhile, you have to be investigated. But this is a Madam, so but no sisi, let me ask. So but Jelile, which when I was the next man is in this, and then when upset instead, because you don't know nothing, you don't have those goods they are talking about, you don't know who bought them. And you never been actually to Guamash? I was not sad, I was upset. Okay. And what you are so angry. 
Kahumuna to be accused of something that you did not do. Yeah, yeah. This is was so angry, traumatized. Yes, as you should be. So then, let's do this. Yes, Asim. And they are insisting that you know something about this. That's another upsetting thing with the because police. Because that's my name. Yes. Yeah. Details are mine. But you don't know anything about this. And I insist on it's with me. I don't have any goods that were bought by this, by this maybe syndicate or these front stars or these stars or this so I do not even know of a syndicate or whatever hence I agreed to be tested and go through the whole thing because I wanted my identity keep being yes. checked keep yes. being checked you wanted your so identity cleared and her surname restored which is PJ and not what she said that is what she saw at home affairs with this old plan she took, which she doesn't know what it means or what it is. Yes. And then, no, sissy, let's, let's move. What happened after that? What did the police do? After they, invest, they, 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 they put you in a lie detector test, they investigated you, they are suspecting you instead, and you don't know anything about that. What happened? I had to go through a divorce. Okay. How did you start the divorce? Okay. Yes. And then we proceed. The red gun. Okay. Yes. The red gun. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have a toilet. And I'm going to investigate my marriage. I was married to a woman. Okay. I had never been there. Yeah. Yeah. The day I got married, till 28, I don't remember the month. Okay. Miguel Okay. So we move along now. We went for the for the for the for the for the passport. And did your passport get renewed by the way? Even now, I have a passport and a picture. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then you say that because you are in tourism business. All the time when you are you want to travel, you have you have problems with traveling. All the time you want to renew your, your passport, there is a process you must go through. And meanwhile, you don't know anything about this. What happened to your identity? Okay. Um. Uh, who's Brenda? Make your Portuguese islands. Yeah, yeah that, that was a few years one. back. Yes, a few years back. It's like four years, if not five. Yeah, Portuguese islands. My passport had expired again. Okay, I'm only making a little study. By the way, I'm so lesbian, it's not even a joke. <laughs> so, in charge, that's the same thing. Yes. And then, then I was doing go home affairs, they are resting me. That's when Ochaga that's the name again, but it has a mark. Oh, okay, okay. It has a mark. Everyone sounds I've been through this process and I was cleared. Okay. But somebody in home office, he or her didn't do her job or his job. He sounds like a kahel. Like I've been in a fraudulent marriage. Okay. So it was another procedure you had to go through. Yes. Another trauma. Okay, I'm traveling in four days. We are traveling to Portuguese yes. 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 Even my driver's license. It's a gama sepa has to be. Okay, okay. You can't get rid of this thing, no matter what you do. But I have to be checking every after two years or four years. Four years. Yes. I don't do it. Keep it. Keep it. 
And ladies and gentlemen, you'll understand what is happening in South Africa. We have a real problem in South Africa. Women find out that they are married, they have um, their identities have been tampered with, and if it's not that, they find uh, some uh, uh, guys, you know, foreign nationalities, they come to South Africa, and what they do, even with fraudulent marriages, they want the citizenship of South Africa, as they do, they have seen abroad. They want the citizenship of South Africa, but they, they don't want to go through legal means to get it. They go through illegal means to try to get the citizenship of South Africa. Then, this is what happened to Nosis also. Sometimes women find out that they've been married without their knowledge, and this is what happened to Nosis. Yes, what happened? I discovered after the investigation because I'm a law abiding citizen with Sagat Thomas Sinclair. Business Sagat Thomas Sinclair. I was sold. Okay, that's what you find out after all the investigation and all the trouble you went through and all the problems you went through, yes. Trauma and this investigation because I did my own investigation. I was yes. angry and everything. Yeah. Found out the bank that I was bank banking through. There's a certain channel, a lady who sold my information. So you mean to tell us, no sissy, that you found out that your, your bank is involved? Yes. And what happened? Because I was clean, no credit, a good financial record, that's how I made to buy this expensive car mm. 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 that I do not even own. You did not even see. I did not. I have never seen. You were not even there when they were when they were bought or whatever. I've never seen those cars. Oh, so you find through it all that you actually your bank is involved. Yes. And what happened? I was told the name of the tailor. What happened after? I didn't care. Because what I wanted was. This is happening in case at end. And, and the police are actually finding out this all this is happening in case at end. Yeah. And are the police helping you at all? I've never even heard your identity. husband they are talking about. It all happened in case at end. Okay. Lost in Pretoria, the man that I don't know. Right now I'm married to a woman. I'm lesbian. Okay. No joke. Okay. But my surname is so locked. Yes. Okay. Some bikini picture. Kanyawa. Ahona. We have the surname. Okay. Because it's got a record. Okay, it's got a criminal record. But no sister, tell me, tell me, there's no criminal, criminal record. Okay, there's no criminal record because I was clear. Oh, you were clear. Yes. Okay, they were able to clear you. But while why they are able to clear you, you still have to go and check with home affairs yes. every, you said, two years or four years. Yes. yes. But no sister, tell me, how does all this make you feel? How does, how, how did you go through life with this? Hanging in your life. It makes me feel so angry. And people suspecting you why you did not do anything as you say. It yes. makes me feel so angry. Because why is somebody in home affairs not doing his or her job to kill me? I've been cleared by the justice system. Yes. But why do I have to go there every two for years, just to check for the empty still noses. Okay. And there's, there's something you were saying about the uh, Portuguese island. Can you take us through the story of Portuguese island? What happened? Were you able to go to Portuguese island? Yes, I did. Okay. 
this. What happened? Yeah. I had fun. Okay. Okay. You went there alone? You went there with who? One day with my wife. Okay. And a couple of friends. Okay. What I can say, that divorce was not easy. It took me two years. Two years? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I have a coach, but I did not know nothing. Okay. So, I just wanted to move and I said, no, I don't have anything to do. I did not want anything to do. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm steps, what steps did you take to get out of this fraudulent marriage? To take us Take us through the steps. Involves. Okay. Okay. But was it as easy as you said? Did you have to, to contact a lawyer? Did no, you pay I said a lawyer? it was not easy. Okay. It was traumatizing. Okay. It cost me a whole lot of transport, petrol. I was driving then. Okay. Yes. Do you feel after the nurses free? Okay. You're finally free. Yeah, and your family was happy that you're finally free and in love with my woman. Okay. And now you are free to be with your woman. And by the way, my woman was with me all the way. That's better. My woman, my mother, my brother. Okay. Oh. Oh. It was uh maybe you know me. My mother and my brother. And my son. Okay, okay, okay. Time you check because 2022 yeah. and you find out I was, I was already like my son Okay, okay. Um, and I think I won't have a problem anymore because I fought. Yeah. As you can hear, ladies and gentlemen, no sister didn't sit down when she found out that she was from the union to a foreign national. And we cannot talk much about it because we don't know the details of uh, this Oakland she took. But this is a trend in South Africa. This is a bad trend, leaving women in problems, leaving women in deep, deep problems, whereby they don't know what to do. No sissy came here because she's very, very upset. She's very, very angry. She has to go through all this trauma. Why? Because somebody wanted citizenship of South Africa. Somebody wanted to be in South Africa uh, through illegal means, through fraudulent means. She, these people go to very bad extremes to get married to South African women and have citizen of, citizenship of South Africa. Yeah, and it seems like uh, the more you have a clean record, the more you have like no is the more you don't have any criminal record, you are not in debt, you are not, your credit is, is wonderful, the more they will steal your identity use that identity to get everything they want in South Africa. This is a case of identity theft. And it's happening every day, ladies and gentlemen, in South Africa. It's happening all the time. They will steal your identity and do as they like with your identity. And now I want to wrap up. We want to hear from the Susan. Thousands women. Amen. Your identity is so precious. Your identity is so precious. Poverty shouldn't lead you to do these things. Because unlike me, it was fraudulent. Some of you could be led to do this stuff just because of this thing was around one. Mm -hmm. 
ufuna ufuna isi kwa sabani wala mwesu mungu zote mtu kuzi kundu mungu za itete rani wena yenza luku mtu ni ugujonje lwa i identity guzo mkosta yu id Thank you, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to please subscribe and like and hit the bell notification.